Hey everyone, I'm Danny, and welcome back to Nancy Drew, the Deadly Device. So we just got off the phone with Deirdre, and um, the next thing on my list was to look at Ellie's list. Um, we have to work in here, pulling different books. So I remember a bunch of these things, like element number 74, you just have to look at the periodic table. This is in Tesla's book about his life. I think the patent is too. This isn't a book in the lab, I think. And that's on some paper, maybe Mason's whiteboard. It's scribbled somewhere. But then I don't know where we're supposed to find the condemned elephant's name or the fellow knight. But if I'm remembering correctly, those are like you can see, um, like that's kind of obvious. Um, twins, can't back over. Yeah, Guinevere and Lancelot, like that's the knights. And then, um, aha, uh -huh, Crystal Skulls, back to fiction. Yeah, now see, we're just pulling them, we can't actually look at them. And then Topsy the Performer was the elephant. So we just have to find our other facts. No. Where was, okay, this is Marconi, had the false patent credit. And Mark Twain was his friend. So we would just need our expo site and what the 24th or 74th, sorry, elephant, elephant <laughs> element is. So 74 is tungsten. And I believe the book was in the lab. Right over here. Circus Elephant Topsy. So I guess that is in there somewhere. Um, Columbian Exposition in 1893 in Chicago. Okay. So Topsy. Gotta go find that one actually too. Mark Twain, Tungsten, Marconi, Chicago. Lancelot, I would guess. All right, and then we need to see Mason's whiteboard. Doesn't matter if it's day or night because either way we can be in there. This cube. He is added to this quite a bit. What is it? V equals I R. Yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo. He has added so much more to this, and now I don't even know. Oh, okay. Ohm's Law. Hey, Glad Ellie. you made it through that lock-in. That could have been real, real bad. Yeah, now we can chat with her. Yeah, that's what I want to know. What happened back there in the lab? I don't know. You're lucky you got out. Really lucky. Is this your card? Nope. Mason said it isn't his either. Then it must just be an extra. Hmm. Why were you spending time with Mason? I thought you two didn't get along. We have to meet up to coordinate experiments once in a while. You and Mason are working on a project together. Something secret. You're wrong. Am I? Then why spend so much time together? We have a lot to coordinate right now. After Nico died, you left for a while. That's true. Where did you go? Home. You mean back to where you grew up? Of course. I wouldn't call Colorado home. Why not? Between you and me, I'm looking to get out of here as soon as possible. Why? 
Even if what happened to Nico never happened, Colorado never welcomed me with open arms. Why do you think that is? I honestly don't know. All right. When you left, I understand you took all of your work with you. It's my work. I need to keep it safe. Keep it safe? From whom? I just meant in general. Yikes. What made you decide to come back? The police. Did they force you to come back? They were persuasive. I don't know if they were going to force me back, and I really didn't want to find out. Fair enough. Can you walk me through what happened the night Nico died? This isn't something I should talk to you about. My boss would really like to know. I know, but my boss would really like to know. Look, it was a hard night for me. I'd like to keep it in my rear view. According to the police report, Nico had been dead for 30 minutes before you called 911. What happened? I tried, but the phones were out. What about your cell phone? I must have left it at home that night. Kaylee. I'll let you go. Bye. All right. <clears throat> Now, I want to see what's up with this book pulling. I think I remember. Okay. So we need a Topsy, Ohm, Mark Twain, Tungsten, Marconi, Chicago, and Lancelot. So, Topsy, Ohm. Holmes Law. Mark Twain, Tungsten, Marconi. Something about Chicago and Lancelot. Chicago, Lancelot. Yeah, son. We have another diary of his and a notebook. Faraday cage is starting to fail. Have sent a materials request to Victor. May need to refabricate the cage before winter. Ellie should be made aware of this issue, of course. As long as it's only the two of us using the coil, it should hold for a while longer. Reminder, call Victor to have him expedite the materials before something disastrous happens. Well, saw how that went. Need photosensitive paint, Faraday materials, magnets, USB drives, science, desk at Tribune, fabricating stories about my work, add to media blacklist. And more research materials are missing today. Keep closer watch on Ellie. What was Nico working on? Is this some sort of code? A apparently so. Excuse me. Uh, what? So, all right, do we, does capital versus lowercase matter? Uh, I feel like it would. Um... Like, what are these numbers? So rows of four, we can shade or not shade. Oh, is this binary? Hang on. Do 
Anyway, it's upstairs, right? The poster. Okay. So nine. Oh shit. Am I doing this backwards? Oh, zero, zero. So blue is like pressed down or shaded, I guess. So it would be shaded, not, not shaded. Is, is that right? I mean, I do think it's binary because it doesn't go up to 15. As 14 would be three shaded, one not. Ten shade, blank shade. As ten, four. The second one is shaded. Can't say the way around. Oh, every um, shit. What was ten? So sec two and four are shaded. Four is. Everything but two is shaded. Six. The end two are shaded. Every fifth. Are any of these repeats? Thirteen. What's thirteen? The only shaded one is the third one. Twelve happens twice. Seven happens twice. Of course, none of the ones we've already done. <laughs> Alright, so we said twelve happens twice. Twelve is the second two are shaded. Seven also happens twice. Only the first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need three, two, one, eight, eleven. Three is the first two are shaded. Two is everything but three. Two is everything but three. Right? Yeah, everything but three. And then three is the first two. One, the first three. Every fifth letter above. Oh, it's probably going to be above. the second one. That's what we had, right? Yeah. Play on... Oh, the coil. Play every fifth letter above on the coil. Okay, I'll give that a try. So, oh, uh, okay. But now my question is, is every fifth letter like starting on one? One, two, no. One, two, three, four, five. Right? One, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, three, four, but then do we circle B or like are these spaces here because you're not supposed to go across the lines? Um, I'll just count all the letters and if we have to go back, we have to go back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, five. Four and a half. B. And this is gonna be the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, five. These must be the notes Nico mentioned to play. Oh, okay. At least we don't have to play them and then figure out they're not right. So then I gotta go to our. I feel like I just heard a weird noise that we don't normally hear going down the elevator. To go to our little baby coil, do some music. Okay. Um. Wait, I don't know which one is the big letters and which one is the small letters. I know my keyboard, so that's not the issue. I'm just taking a picture of my notebook here so I don't have to keep flipping. Um, yeah, I don't know which ones are little and which ones are big. I'm pretty sure that higher is little. So we're gonna start on a big A. C, D, E, F, G, A. So big A, big G, big B, little E, little G, little A, little G again. Little D, big B, little C, big G, big E, big F, big D, big C, The closer I come to the answer, the more I appreciate the magnitude of this discovery. I fear that I can no longer trust those around me. I cannot allow my research to go wasted, unknown. So to find the hidden knowledge, illuminate a black light under the glow. Okay. Ooh, we have to listen to his other auto diary. Audio diary? The hours have gone negative this week. The news of the announcement has gone far beyond what I wanted. I've lost control over it. And we're not ready. Gray's been helping me comb through all the unsuitable work. I've had to step up my own security. I can't be too careful now. The mood in the lab has been tense for a long time, but there has been a shift. Ooh. A sudden calmness to my enemies as of late, as if they're planning something. Paranoia has always come creeping into the back reaches of my mind when I stretch myself too far but I've not been overextended. Quite the opposite. Everything has been going smoothly with the energy project. This, I fear, isn't paranoia. I find myself unable to trust anyone here, but I can't leave the work. Not until it's announced. There's electricity in everything, but we don't know how to see it because we perceive it to be scarce. Always looking for exotic solutions. Exotic and costly. 
Victor once warned me to take it easy with the announcement. The world economy is built on expensive energy. To flood the market could cause a collapse, but to continue to hide the resources we have, to deprive those who need them? I see why Tesla liked his pigeons. They fly only where they're directed, and never question the effect the beating of their wings will have on the skies and the world below. Okay. Does that have to do with the um pigeon that's right over by his desk, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I find myself unable to trust anyone here, but I can't leave the work. Not until it's announced. There's electricity in everything. But we don't know how to see it because we perceive it to be scarce. Always looking for exotic solutions. Exotic and costly. Victor once warned me to take it easy with the announcement. The world economy is built on expensive energy. To flood the market could cause a collapse. But to continue to hide the resources we have. To deprive those who need them? I see why Tesla liked his pigeons. They fly only where they're directed. And never question the effect the beating of their wings will have on the skies and the world below. Okay, I don't know if I, like, the first time around missed, um, missed, like, what his, he had, like, a code in there or something? I don't, yeah, no idea. All right. Um... Haven't done that. Um, fix the baby coil. I want to chat with Mason and um, Ryan. Ryan have to say this. What's up? Oh. Bye. Nothing. Later. Alright, and let's see if Mason has anything to say to us. Hey. What were you and Ellie doing spending time together? We weren't. I know for a fact you were. For a fact? Well, I know for a fact. You're wrong. Let me get back to work. Yikes. No offense, I can't work when you're hovering. Ellie said this card wasn't hers. That's fascinating. Tell me more facts about the card. Fine. It's the one that opened the lab the night Nico died. That can't be right. It's in the log. That was just a glitch. The video shows just one person entering the lab. I'd better get going. See you later. And so he thinks it's a glitch, but... Alright, and on that note, my timer just went off while we were talking to Mason. But, um, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw and want to see more in the future, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out a great deal. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.